Dear Mohanji, warm pranams to you. Can you kindly tell us what eternity is? Um, eternity is the nature of life. Eternity, ananta, is the nature of existence. Your soul is eternal. World is eternal. Universe is eternal. Parabrahma is eternal. So, there is a, there is a continuous flow, there is a continuous um, existence happening which we may not understand because actually we look at day and night, we look at time, time changes, day changes, season changes. So, amongst all these changes, there is a thread of eternity. These, ch these changes makes us believe that everything is fragmented. You know, but in li life is not fragmented. Life has a continuity. Everything happens at a particular time, in a particular space, to a particular set of people. The same thing cannot happen at a different place, to a different set of people, and a different time. So, this is all synchronized. It flows. It flows through time. Like I said, if you take the next hundred years, even the child born today will not be existing in the world. So, life flows like that and soul flows like that. So, if you are able to witness the whole thing objectively, without uh, judgment, without censorship, without criticism, you will understand there is a thread running through the entire system. And this is beautiful. You know, everything is synchronized. Everything is planned and everything has a continuity. At the same time, the free will are expressed as well. That is, the free will created your destiny. Before you had a free will, that became the destiny. Once you are, once the destiny takes over, free will doesn't exist. So, everything is correlated. As I said, you and the tree outside are related. Because when you exhale, the tree inhales. When the tree exhales, you inhale. This is a collaboration, the grand collaboration. So if you are able to see through the whole life, through the whole existence, you will see the beauty of it. And there will be no stress within them. You know, everything happens for a purpose and it is perfectly in time. Sometimes we call some things a tragedy, but that is the way it has to end because actually we created such mm -hmm. a destiny. So each and every matter, each and every object, each and every situation has its own relevance and you cannot change it. Is that clear or? Uh, yeah, that's clear one. Uh, so my what, what is eternity? Do you understand eternity? It is the essence of existence. Eternity is the essence of existence. Mm -hmm. e existence is, is eternity, eternal. You know, ananta. That is why Mahavishnu lies on the serpent, Ananda. Ananda means eternal. You know, there is no beginning, there is no end. And uh, time is like that, eternal. Space is like that, eternal. Universe is eternal. Your soul is eternal. God is eternal. You know, there is no finite. There is no limit. There is, everything is limitless. So this is eternity. And that is the essence of existence. Uh, if I may ask you, why did we choose to come to earth? with a finite form. I mean, why couldn't we all have God realization while we are born? We why, are. why go through all the trial when and When you started your journey in the beginning, you were aware of who you are. A small child which is born today is aware of who, who he or she is. And there is a continuity in that. But unfortunately, as you condition yourself to a finite uh, personality, such as Shahid, and you are the son and son or son of these parents. You are in a particular place at a particular time. So your education, all these things condition you to a particular level. And that level of conditioning made you feel alienated from the source. You are connected to the source from the top above. The link is already there. The umbilical cord from the Sahasra never leaves you until death. When death happens, this is disconnected because the body becomes dead body. Then you don't need any connection anymore. Because the body goes back to mud. Ash becomes ash. Body is made out of ash or mud or earth. It goes back to mud or earth. So you don't need it. So then the connection is lost. Otherwise you are always connected. 
and that is the replenishment happening, the energy happening continuously. You were born self-realized as a child or in the beginning of when the journey started, you were Sadashiva. That is why we call Sadashiva Samarambha. We started the journey as eternal bliss, you know, in that state of Shiva. Shiva stage is eternal bliss state. We started the journey. In the middle, what happened? While we were traveling, we got contaminated because of wrong understanding. We thought that we are this finite form, we have a duration and this is it. And we forgot the soul aspect. We started believing this is the body and this is the only body, this is me. You know, all these understandings gave you alienation. That is why the disconnection happened. So, when we get back, finally, merge with the same bhava of Sadashiva, you are eligible to know that, or you, you are existing in the bliss state again. So, you started as Sadashiva and you are ending up as Sadashiva. But in between, there are many lives, you know. These are all four various experiences. If you wanted to experience earth, you have to have a body. If you wanted to taste an ice cream, you need to have the tongue, you know, to taste it, correct? And you have to have the body to feel, to understand, to experience. So you took the body. Minus the body, you cannot experience what you can do with the body. This is why you chose to have the body. And should one live the material life for the spiritual or? You cannot leave. Where, where, where can you go? Buddha? You cannot, you cannot leave anything. You have to handle all the chakras together. That means, we say we have seven chakras which are predominant, like the transformers, which nourish us, the, the cells. We need everything. If you are unstable on the earth, you are unstable up there as well. You know, if you develop the higher chakras only through sadhana, what will you do with your with your daily life? You should have a balance of chakras. You should have a balanced life. So you should ha you should be fine in here and fine there. So th there is why it should there should be a total balance. So you cannot leave something and go away. That is called escapism. And if you escape, what happens? It's only postponement. You have to come back and sort it out at some other point in time. So why, why you have to <laughs> delay things? Might as well finish and go. Karma is knit in such a way, it is parallel to time. What you experience at the age 40, you can never experience at the age 20. Right? So, it is, it is knit in such a way that it runs parallel to time. Huh? You, have to, you have to go through the time to reach the end. You cannot cut it halfway. And karma is always Time, uh, it's related to time, it's related to space, it's related to certain set of people. You know, this is why we call relationships are important. Time is important, space is important. And the configuration of all this is very important. <laughs>